Hey, what's going on, Playboys? This is your man, Camber God, aka CGOD, aka putting a link in on three. Y'all know what it is. So basically, jumping right into it. 96 link, boys. Uh, basically the first, second video on it, technically. So we got her up in the garage. It's nice to be able to put things in the garage now. As you can see, we got these power balls, boys. That's what the goal of today is. Um, in the first video, you'd see that one of our, sh not shocks, but one of our hydraulic cylinders is missing the ball on the end. So hopefully that's salvageable. We're gonna find out right now. We're gonna get the car up in the air, put it up on some stands, boys. Try to figure out what's going on with her. And uh, from there, we're gonna go ahead and get to it, boys. So basically, I believe we are gonna have to cut off the old housings. I was told by the previous owner that these ones are completely different, that like the ball is bigger or something. So we're gonna cut off the housings completely off the axle, get these on, get them welded. You know the dealio, boys. Um, but yeah, first things first, gonna have to yak her up, you know? So I mean, already got the yak underneath of it. She need to yak it up, put it on some yak stands. After that, she'll be ready, boys. Um, I plan on lifting the car up from the axle and then setting stands underneath the frame rails on the sides in front of the axle and when we let the jack down it should drop to the point of you know us being able to work on the axle or whatever probably gonna have to be like laying down underneath this bad girl I think who knows we'll see how high it actually goes up so wish me luck boys that's gonna be happening right now all right boys we got her all jacked up on some beefy stands coming down under here we went ahead and took the wheels off real quick as you could see here's our issue so it is indeed you know like just free right there um so we're gonna have to remove this probably like let it dangle or something i don't even know make sure the threads are good in here for the new bolt and uh then we're gonna proceed to cut off this one and uh yeah boys from there after this is cut off we'll install the new power ball and stuff put the new base on get it welded clean it up put this down probably grease it maybe or something i don't know and uh put the cap on tighten the set screw and stuff you guys know how it is you know and uh other than that boys we should be good get her juking i think i might even cut the springs too because she doesn't lay that low right now but i'm gonna first verify that they're even the springs are like the same size left to right but I mean, y'all know what it is, boys. I'm gonna start on it and I'll bring y'all back. Alrighty, boys, so we're moving right along. Like I said, we got that old power ball just straight chopped off, boys. We chopped it, you know? So basically, you can see here, and that's where it used to be. Uh, it's down there now, kind of dark, but anyway, so. We got the area kind of cleaned up to be welded with the new power ball. Uh, we got our cylinder sitting down. What we're gonna try now is installing the new power ball. You know, cause if we can't even put the power ball on then we got bigger problems. So that's what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit the power ball and then I'm gonna get the housing. Oops. I'm gonna get the housing of our power ball here. Like you see how it's like black anodized or whatever you wanna call that. Well, I'm gonna try and get that cleaned up you know, ready to be welded to our axle. Probably clean up the bottom just a hair, but either way, that's the goal for now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get that knocked out. Then after it's welded on, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of grease in there and set our power ball in, tighten down our top piece or whatever. You know how it be, guys. So let me try it out. All right, boys. So as we said, we got our power ball housing cleaned up here I don't know why the lighting is making it like look like it's like fluttering but there we are either way um, I'm actually gonna leave the the cap of the power ball on while I weld it just so that he, uh, we don't mess up the threads you know because imagine we get it all welded on and stuff and we're not able to put it on um, a bottom of our cylinder, I did have to like grind the very edge a little bit because it got kind of mushroomed from not having a ball. But it does indeed fit in our power ball and the bolt works. Everything should be legit. So after we get this welded on, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull the cap off, slide the cap on the cylinder first, install our power ball to the end of the cylinder, and we should be ready to basically, I'm gonna uh, like grease up the ball and I'm gonna grease up inside of the housing before we even put the cylinder in. But uh, yeah, and then after we do that, go ahead and slip it on there, put our cap on, tighten the set screw, and it's basically done. And then we'll start on the other side just so we don't have two different sets of power balls, you know what I mean? All right, boys, so power ball is installed on the cylinder, put some Loctite on it. Um, the power ball itself, was actually like threaded but it wasn't even threaded straight so it, was, it didn't want to line up with the cylinder whenever the cylinder is in place as you could see the cylinder like really squeezes up in there you know so the cylinder goes on fine but the hole wasn't straight and aligned so it wouldn't thread in so I ended up drilling out the threads on the power ball so the power ball itself is just threaded into the uh, cylinder but it should be good, boys. And like I said, I put Loctite on it, tightened it real good. Got a goop of grease up in here. We're about to set the uh, cylinder in and then be able to tighten down our top plate. Get it uh, set screw tightened on there. That way she doesn't come off again. And we should be good, boys. From here, like I said, the only other thing is to paint it. As you can see, we got like raw welds and stuff. But other than that, we're moving right along. Got the grease in there. I don't have a grease gun to put it through the Zerk, but that should be plenty there. Um, hopefully some even like comes out and I mean, I'll wipe off excess or whatever. I just want to make sure she's well lubed up. But yeah, so without further ado, we're now sitting in our power ball. So that's cool. Set this up right here. See if we can begin the threading process. Maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I don't know exactly how tight these are supposed to go, but I'm just gonna kind of give her all she's got, you know. There it is, boys. Basically complete. Just showed you. See, we got a little bit of grease on our power ball. As we cycle the suspension up and down, you know, it'll it'll grease itself. Probably grab these with the channel lock and just give them a nice, decent tightening. And then we'll hit their set screw right here on the side. And this side should be good, aside from a little bit of paint. Yeet! There it is, boys. Got her all completed, knocked out, you know. Looking G, looking G. As you can see, our OG power balls in there, boys. It might be kind of hard to see because the exhaust is cut like right there, but it is what it is, y'all know. So we're juking it now, boys. She's all good to go now. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it boys. We got her all knocked out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We are back in my garage. We finna get this thing all knocked out. You can see he's dumping that thing back there. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe boys. This is a quick one on that link, you know, getting y'all a little bit of action, you know what I mean? So I'll catch y'all in the next one boys. Deuces.